and we named it we we label it which is uh, in in git we label it master or main and in purpose we used to label depot i guess if i'm not wrong depot trunk and um, sp also we used to call it something so yeah this is the main branch where we are main means primary branch major branch important branch where we are committing and this is the code we will release to the market okay release to the market but in between what happened you started getting this is the major version then you started getting minor version patches hot fixes bug fixes enhancement and all so are you going to disturb the mainline code also only it's not a good practice so what happens to in order to work on minor brand minor feature patches hot fixes enhancement and all we create a branches out of it and then we start working on the branches actually so we don't disturb the main branch and this is the feature branch you started working and this is what you do that so branching is been done for few regions like one is you want to work on the enhancement feature or you want to do the work fixing of the previous version without impacting the working branch which is a main branch at a high level did you understand that all of you so uh, rajesh what is the difference between the normal branch and feature branch there's no so only for uh, enhancement there's no as such normal branch you can say normal and abnormal i would say main branch and not main branch you can put it up so my main branch which will represent your uh, main uh, development up to date branch which is uh, you are going to do the future release that's a main branch but sometime you work on the old bugs also right which has been released from the older the region you see here this branch i created from the older commit so this is the bug branch you can say and here if you see this branch i created from the latest commit for enhancement feature branch so you don't want to do the trial and error and spoil this branch so for that we separate it out the development and bug fixing branches in a separate direction so at least one branch which is your main branch will be stable always make sense yeah yes it's very simple way if i put it up i'll say hey this is my code which is working and this is in production don't touch this code if you want to modify the code take a copy of it simple we say right simply in a human nature we say don't modify something which is already working take a copy of it and modify it correct no so here in in the source code uh, world we call it a, a branching to take a it's branch master. from yeah sorry uh, is master same as main i mean it, yeah, are these interchangeable yeah. terms okay no 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 this is same what have i said to you the master is the branch main branch name which is coming from the last so many years but recently what uh, github has done it they have renamed the master to the main actually that means that now when you create a repository on github then it will be you see the main but earlier used to come master so it's just a little change has happened in the concept so okay thanks so okay guys so how do i see that how do i work on the different different branches how do i create a branch so by default you were working with the master branch so how do i work with it so git branch iphone a this will tell you all the branches what you have right now i have a master branch asterisk sign means that means this location which is workspace and this is the code which you see is from the master branch actually that is that means asterisk git bus there's one more git bus there's one more advantage here you see the branch which you checked out and currently working so the question is how do i create a branch it's very simple git 
branch and here I'm creating one branch from the master and that's called E1 branch, feature one branch. And here I created a branch. And you see here, now I have a two branches, master and fee one, fee feature one. Now someone will say, hey, work with the feature branch, what to do? So git checkout, checkout we have used earlier also for commit ID, but you can do the branches also. Check out V1 and you see that where you are, you are in the V1 now. So that means the code which you see is from the V1. Earlier the code which you saw here is from the master. So it's the same location. This location is same, but the only change I like this rep population is happening from the repo level. So this is the V1 branch. Now let me commit few commits here. So, so here git uh, guys touch v1 dot txt git add dot git commit hyphen m adding v1. Are you comfortable with this line? Just to save time. Yeah. One commit I did in the V1. One commit I am also second commit I'm doing the V1. So here you have a V1 on V2 dot txt, which is a code under the V1 branch, which you can see it here. Now I'll go back to checkout master and do I have a fee one dot txt and fee two dot txt? See that it's not there. So the question was how do we create a branches? You saw that. How do we check out the branches? You saw that. And how do we work on those particular branches? You saw that. And how to switch back to the major and fee one? You saw that. Are you comfortable with it? Right. So guys, what to do? Because there's a two branches. You see that here. Again, look at the image here. So there's just one branches I earlier had. Earlier had this one branches. And here there's a one commit, second commit, third commit. After that, we created a few one branch. And here we had one commit to commit. So now if you think this code is something which you want to merge here, you can do that. If you have some additional commit here, you can merge back this commit here also. That is also possible. Which way you merge it, you decide. But most of the time, from the feature you want to merge. So now branching is done. Then now the time has come for the merging. Are you comfortable so far? Yes, yeah, all good. Yeah, so what we do? So this is something which we do here. Uh, so if you want to merge uh, the V1 to master, you need to be in master, which I am. And here, git merge V1, that's all. And you see here, fast forward merge which has happened ls you see you got this file merging so now master you have these two commit so here this two commit has come in the master now and master is up to date so this is the fundamental of merging actually any questions So Rajesh, so merging is always from the master branch. See, theoretically merging can to... happen. Theoretically merging can happen between any two branches, right? Any two branches. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, to take a code from, let's say you have some additional code here and you have additional. So you want to take this code to here. So you have to check out the fee one and merge against the master. 
but most of the time we see that merges happen to the master that is a practice so this is a conceptual discussion you have to think between that hmm. okay so this is how we created branches and this is how you create your merges in a simple way so guys what we we have so, seen so far how do we create a repository first we have seen how we version the code which we modify every day so you don't need anyone else but you yourself only you initiated the repository let me show you some history of the commands so if you see that here i created a repository i work on the file i did a file set the username and committed and log sensei after that we saw the status the concept of working directory staging area and uh, git repo then we revert back also looking at the history of the code and then we started merge uh, started working with the branching and we created a branch check out the branch modify the code come back to the master and merge it simple so this is the complete workflow basic workflow you will keep doing lifetime while working with the git so any questions any confusion all of you Good. okay so now enough working with alone okay so i've been doing all alone this is me okay i was doing all alone versioning writing a code versioning it and branching merging all this thing but now time has come for sharing the code with others okay so working with remote repository let's discuss this one but before that let's have one break grab your tea, tea coffee instrument personal call for next 15 minutes and then i'll teach you how do we work with github basically remote repository and then many other features as well will that be okay for everyone yeah that okay so yeah see you guys after thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today